Hello folks, this is Steve A.B. Poriel. Nothing in this episode is a promotion, nor is it a recommendation. It's a PSA. I just did a Google search. Most frequent way cyber attacks get in. And here's the number one return from the Google search engine. Credit to CrowdStrike. They're well known. So 10 most common types of cyber attacks. What's the top one right there? Phishing. What's phishing? Phishing email. Phishing is a type of online scam that targets consumers by sending an email that appears to be from a well-known source, an internet provider, blah, 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 blah. How to recognize and avoid phishing scams. In case you didn't know. Here's a screenshot cut down. It's an email that I received today. It was in the spam bucket. Well, at least my email provider thought, you know, these things that claim to talk about Ace Hardware, as an example, I'm not promoting anything. You've, you've got at least one email that mentions Ace Hardware special, little bit of Pay attention to who's, who's it's from. Can you read it? What's the name of this channel? Did I send it to myself? What's the point of this? To get me to click on it and open it. <clears throat> it's a new strategy. I haven't seen it before. Most of the time when these come in, they name, oh, your uh, cybersecurity uh, uh, antivirus is expi expiring. I don't have any antivirus in that company, but it's a well-known name. I used to have it a long time ago, 10 years ago, maybe. And then when you read who it's from, it's usually some name that if you look at it carefully, it's even misspelled. They, ch they keep changing what that is so that the scanner at your email service, whoever does it, will somehow choke and forget to put that in the spam bucket. You notice they don't delete it for you. So it's about Ace Hardware something, but who's it from? What's the point? to get me to click on it. Because those other ways of doing it with the nonsense from names doesn't work like it used to. So now they're trying something new. Tell me, have you received one like this? The reason why I asked that question is, <clears throat> Is it widespread? Because there's another thought that comes to mind when I see something like this. Are they inside my email provider? Oh, oh, that's called supply supply chain attack. That's one of the that's one of them. Insider threats, supply chain attacks. <clears throat> You get software, software updates, like your browser updates. What if they got into the browser people? And when they're going to send out a, you know, notify of a new e update behind the back of uh, whoever's providing your browser, Brave or Google or 
Firefox, Mozilla, they got in there and the new update has this bad stuff in it and gets installed in your browser. Supply chain attack. If they get into the people who handle your email, is that a supply chain attack? Sure it is. Why would that even come to my mind? How do they know my mailbox at that particular email provider? Oh, but you're on YouTube. They were guessing. The thing is that every year in January, now it's not January, but every year in January, this particular email provider suddenly has an avalanche of spam emails to deliver. It's as though they get into them every January, look up all the email boxes, and generate the emails. But we're all getting savvy to it, right? We're smart. We don't click on the obviously stupid stuff. This is a new ploy. Is it happening to you? Has it happened to you? Is it happening in where your email is being provided? A lot of email addresses are out there on the internet. Have you seen something like this yet? This is the first time I've seen this. This formulation. Yeah, the Ace Hardware. Yeah, I've seen lots over the years. Lots where they mention Ace Hardware, Sears. They don't mention Sears so much anymore, do they? I wonder why. Oh, Ace Hardware franchise is still in business. Have any of you received this flavor of decoy email yet? Oh, and just so that you can rest when you go to bed tonight. It's been deleted. No, I didn't click on it. No, I'm not going to open it. Why would I? It's not from anybody that I know. And I didn't send it to myself sleepwalking. Steve A.B. for you. Just an idiot running his mouth. PSA. Same C you in 73.